In this video, I'm going to show you how you can insert an icon into a button in the WordPress Gutenberg editor. But do keep in mind that at the moment, you cannot do that. WordPress doesn't have a feature that lets you insert an icon into a button. You will need a plugin or code to implement the feature. But there is actually a workaround where you can do that without any plugin. And here's how you can do that. All right, I have this empty page and I'm going to show you how you can create a button and then insert an icon into it. To create a button, just place the cursor into the editor and then start typing slash buttons to show the button blocks and then click on it. You can type anything into the button. For example, I'm going to type love it, similar to the example that I have shown earlier. But do keep in mind that this is just a default setting of the button. You can always customize the button. You can change the color, make it bigger, or change all the parameters of the button. To do that, just go to the block tab and then you can see a lot of settings you can play with. I'm going to change the background to, for example, to red and then improve the size to maybe extra large. Okay, that looks better. I will also change the body radius to 12 pixel. There are many other settings you can customize. It's totally up to you. Now we are ready to insert an icon into the button. To do that, just click either at the beginning or at the end of the text. It's up to you. You can insert the button in any of these places. I'm going to insert the icon at the beginning of the text, but add some space between the text and the icon. You just need to press the space bar on your keyboard. And there you go. It will create a tiny gap between the text and the icon. Now to insert an icon, just go to the toolbar, click the more menu, and then click inline image. So basically the icon was an image. You can find a lot of icons on the internet for free. There are many resources that provides high quality icons for your websites. Uh, you can try it on, let's say, flaticon.com. You can also try it on freeicons.io or maybe you can try find some icons on iconsake.com. But do keep in mind that these websites usually require you to show attributes whenever you're using their icons. But you can also go to Google Images and find some website that provide quality icons without requiring you to provide a credit to the website owner. But they're usually a bit harder to find. But then again, it is free, so I think it could be worth it. So anyway, let's go back to the tutorial. I'm going to insert this heart icon into the button. And then I click select. All right. Now the icon has been inserted into the button, but as you can see here, it's too big and we want to make it a bit smaller, at least similar in size to the text. To do that, just click on the icon and it will show you an option to change the size. I'm going to change the size from 150 pixel to maybe 30 pixel and then press enter. And there you go. Congratulations, you have inserted an icon into a button. But this is actually just one way to do that. There is another way to insert an icon into a button without any plugin. And I'm talking about emojis. To insert an emoji, you just need to right click on the cursor and then click emoji. Your operating system or browser probably have a different way to do that. You just need to go to Google and find some tutorials about it. But usually they are available on the context menu on the browser. I'm going to click emoji and I will find some emojis that matches this button. I will try the heart icon. Okay, I'm going to select this one. And as you can see, it looks so similar to the other icon. And there you have it, two simple ways to insert an icon to a button in the WordPress Gutenberg editor. The Gutenberg editor is very powerful. There are many features to explore. Check out this video to learn more about how to use a reusable block in the Gutenberg editor.